Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is crochet podcast number 61. So I do have um, some finished objects. So the first one that I want to talk about is um, this doll right here. It's from a cartoon, I think, called Coco Melon. I think this doll's name is JJ, so it's not the melon. But I've got him all finished up. This was a paid for pattern on Etsy. Um, I think it's called Jacks and Jane was the shop that I got it from. But I'll link it down below. So I used um, four acrylic yarn, number four weight yarn, and a number three size crochet hook, which is. I'm going to say the closest is a D. I think it was down one, but a D hook. And I used um, this color right here is, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember the color, but it is Big Twist by Joanne. And I already put it up and it's all the way down in this bottom tote down here. I can't believe I didn't look up the color. Oh, man. Well, this one is called Aqua. I do know that color. It's called Aqua, and it is by Joanne's Big Twist Value Yarn. The yellow is a Crafter Secret Yarn from, um, what's it called? Hobby Lobby. And then this blue is also a Hobby Lobby yarn. I just don't know the color name because it was a scrap ball of it. And I used um, 16 millimeter safety eyes. And he is all done. I didn't put any spots on the back of him because I was tired of sewing on these spots. I did make this to send to my sister. She's going to give it to one of her nieces for Christmas. So it's all done. And now I can get it out in the mail and get it to her. Um, I had some fun making the doll. I think it's just because it was not something that I wanted to make. That I just wasn't very, very interested in it. Um, the legs gave me problems. The pattern, I think, had a miss, misprint in it, maybe. Like, um, the calculations weren't right. Because um, it was like you had 30 stitches around. And then it wanted you to decrease, but it told you to go like seven single crochets and then decrease. And then it wanted you to do that five times. And then after that, another 13 stitches. So either it didn't want you to actually do it five times or I don't, I don't know. But because I was like nine times five is 45 and that's way more than the 30 stitches I'm starting out with. So... So I just kind of winged it and got it to where I was at the body. And then it seemed like the math started adding up correctly. So there's that. So I could have just misread. I don't know. But it took me a little bit to figure it out. Um, I think I got the, the head on pretty straight in accordance with the body. I did have a problem because I couldn't remember which side was the the front side when I went I sewed on the arms and then I went to sew on these little dots and I could not figure out which side was the good side because all of my things are to the inside so yeah but I think it turned out pretty cute and I'm happy to get him done and sent off so the next thing I've got, I'm saying it's finished. It's not really finished, but the crochet part is finished. So, um, I wanted to make some towel toppers for some towels. Now, I've seen, you know, like Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She done it last year. I was talking to Julie over at KS Mom Crochets about it. And she was like, oh yeah, last year I made a ton of these. I gave them away as gifts. But I used the granny stitch. And I was like, oh, wait. And then she sent me pictures. And I'm like, I really like that instead of 
the, um, you know, like single crochet all the way across or double crochet all the way across. So she was so very kind to um, help me out. She showed me how she done it and I made one to practice with and this is what I got done. Now, I um, realized I put way too many stitches going across so it made this part of it longer, but now I know not to do so many. So really all I've got left to do is to put a button on. I didn't have any buttons and I'm still waiting for my buttons to come in from Amazon. But here is the towel. I just bought a towel from um, the dollar store. It was the Gen Dollar General store. That is a hair. Um, just got one of their towels to practice on. I found some cotton yarn that I had here at the house. This is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton in Dark Teal. So here is my towel. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. And the next time that I do it, I'm not going to put so many stitches across. But Julie was amazing. She wrote out how she done it. And plus she... um like visually showed me how um, she done it. So thank you so much, Julie. That means the world to me because, you know, I'm a, I like to have the written patterns, but I also like to be able to see when somebody's doing something. So seeing you um, do it really did help me out a whole lot. So I really can't wait to get this button sewed on so I can start using this jewel. Now I am gonna go and make the other half. I don't know what I've done with it. I think it's downstairs. I'm gonna make the other half as well and have it for my kitchen too. So those are my finished objects. I only have one whip and that is my gnome surprise collaboration. So I can't talk about that here. So let's just move on into some show and tell. I've got some show and tell. I wrote it down so that I wouldn't miss anything. So, um, Sheila, um, sent me some pictures of some things that she's been working on. Um, she sent me some coasters, pictures of some coasters. She's got two sets here. One's like dog paws and they're so cute. She's got these cute little stars. I don't know if they're ornaments or if they're like to go on like like tags for a um, gift or something. They look to me like ornaments. And then she made um, some towel toppers. She's got um, this cute little like a reindeer and foxes set. It's so pretty. And then the very, very popular um, red truck with the Christmas tree in the back of it. It's very like old fashioned-y fashion-y and then my favorite are these Christmas ornaments they are very retro I really like those a whole lot and then last but not least she made a sweater for her neighbor's dog and it is Leon so Mr. Leon has got a nice little sweater that he's been wearing so cute. Thank you very much, Sheila, for sharing your makes with us. If anybody else out there wants to share what they've been working on, you can just email me and I will put it on here for everyone to see. I would also um, like to um, send some get well wishes to one of my friends, um, Delon. She is um, resting up and I just want to say that I hope that everything is healing good and I hope you've been feeling these positive thoughts that I've been sending your way and I just hope you've been resting real 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 good so I'll just give you a speedy recovery and let's see I got some Christmas cards in the mail I got quite a few of them so I'm pretty excited about that so and these are in no order 
but I got one from Cynthia at Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Look how cute that is, Joy. Of course, she's joyful. It says, wishing you a bright and beautiful season of joy. So it's from Cynthia. I got to put all of these up downstairs. This one is from Lori at Lori Hooks, all the way from Canada. Look, it's Santa and his reindeer. Train. It says, people like you make the holidays even happier. Merry Christmas. Wishing you and your family a wonderful Christmas. Lori at Lori Hooks. Thank you so much, Lori. That's so cute. I love a good Santa card, you know. Okay, so this one right here is from Julie at KS Mom Crochets. It says, a very Merry Christmas to you. So this one was sent out before we done the, um, the gnome surprise card. So, and it took it forever to get here. So that's crazy. It says, wishing you a peace and joy this Christmas. Merry Christmas, Julie. So cute. Thank you, Julie. Let's get it back in there. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting them back in their envelopes because I'm gonna take them back out when I um, put them up. Okay, so this one came and I was like, whoo, look at that handwriting. So cute. Then I was like, Denmark, oh my goodness. I only know one person, Denmark. And that's Cassandra. Oh, I was so happy to get these, this one. So, this is a um, card from Cassandra at Craftably Ever After. And look at it. Hmm, some of my favorite things on there, some cookies. And on the back is a recipe for, it's for, um, let's see, which cookie is it? The Vanilla Wreaths. So, this cookie right here. And I'm gonna make it. Yep, I've got all of the stuff to make it with. The only thing that I need is um, Vanilla Pods. Cause it's got um, 500 grams of flour, 200 grams of sugar, 375 grams of butter, and you want to use a good grass-fed butter. Learn that from watching YouTube when you make your cookies and stuff. Two vanilla pods, two egg yolks. So I need the uh, vanilla pods. I do have me some grass-fed cow butter downstairs. So I am going to make those, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. So thank you very much, Cassandra. I really enjoyed my card, and I love that stamp. Look at it, how pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, this one is from my friend, Rebecca. And um, she's, you know, her handle is Crochet Me This. I love that handle. But it is oh, the Slay... Oh, I love this card too. It says, wishing you old fashioned pleasures, happy memories, and all the joys of the Christmas season. And this is a very old fashioned -y vibes. Don't it give you guys those vibes too? Thank you very much, Rebecca. I really, really appreciate it. And then the last one I have here is from Rosanna from uh, Crochet with Nana Rosanna. So it came all the way from Canada again. I feel so special when I get um, these far away cards. It's so, so much fun. So we've got the snowman, he's outside. He's got some pine cones and he's got a tree with some presents. And it says, happy holiday wishes for you, Mary. Everything and happy always. And inside, and I have been itching to use this, but I didn't because I wanted to show you guys. She included me a stitch marker that she's been making. She's been making them with her um, granddaughter, Paige, and 
I got a snowflake one and I'm super excited. I can't wait to use it. I'm leaving it out now because I'm going to be using it. So thank you so much, Rosanna. I really love the card and I really love my stitch marker. I appreciate it so much. And if anybody else, I know Christmas is almost here, but if you want to send me a Christmas card, I will send you one back. I still got a stack of cards downstairs that I carry around in my work bag just in case, you know, I get one so I can get somebody sent out. So I did, I was a little bit like getting my cards sent out this year, but I did send some out and I real feel really bad because my far away peoples, I think are going to get there late because one, I didn't know that there was a special stamp that you had to buy. And what clued me in was talking with Julie and she was talking about international stamps. And I was like, hmm, I thought maybe I could just put a bunch of stamps on there, <laughs> like just to cover the cost and, and things would be good. But I go to the post office and I'm like, hey, am I supposed to buy, you know, a special stamp? And yes, you are. And they don't have any Christmas ones for the global stamps, but um, I used what they had. So that's good to know now, but next year I'm gonna be prepared and I'm gonna buy some of those stamps to start with. So I'm really sorry about the lightness of my Christmas cards. Okay, so let's see, what's next, what's next? Oh, I bought some uh, tea towels from, is that what they're called? It just says kitchen towel. I got this from, there's my nephew again. I'll definitely have to call him back before I edit. Um, got this from Hobby Lobby. All their stuff was 60% off. I thought he was cute. Give me something to make. And that way I can have all of the Christmas ones for next year done up early. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I bought me some new safety eyes. Just got them from Amazon. I'll put links to everything I talk about down below. But it's got 12 millimeter, 14, 16, 20, 22, 24, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So these are the ones that come in it. And they are they're just plain black no you know noses or anything like that and then it's got all of the little things that I'll need to put up um, I think that is everything that I have so the only thing left to do is to pick a winner for the gnome bundle giveaway now, um, some things about the gnome bundle. So I wondered why I didn't have any, um, like a beard and it's because it's a lighting and, um, she uses these colors for, um, her hair. And I also didn't realize that the pattern was for a knit hat. So, if you are the winner and it's you don't knit, um, I'm sorry. I did not realize that until after when I was going back to look and be like, why didn't I put any, you know, beard stuff in there? But when I was doing it, I was like, oh, well, that hat kind of looks knit. And then I read a little bit further and I'm like, oh, yeah, it is knit. So I have to get my um, computer out. Show you guys my computer. I have some stickers. I got the Black Pines Sanctuary sticker on here. Got me a sloth. Got me, um, it's an ice cream cone. It's the Puppy Love. Um, but my old cell phone that I use to um, do like my recordings of my giveaways, the home key doesn't work. So I'm like, oh, now I have to use the computer. And I really don't like using the computer because I really don't know how to do the screen recording. So we're gonna try it. 
If for some reason I can't get this put in, I'm really, really sorry. Okay, so I have it pulled up here. I think it's recording. Um, I had some malfunction. I was putting in the wrong URL for the wrong video, but I think I've got it done the right way now. So I think I've got the right URL in here. So we're gonna filter duplicate users, include the replies, filter based on a specific text, and that text was the Three plus four is seven. Get comments. And we've got 50 unique comments. Okay, that was a lot better because it was showing zero. I was like, what? That's not right. Okay, so now we're going to start the raffle. Let's press start and let's see who the winner is. Lori Peterson, congratulations, Lori. Lori has to say, last December, we were prepping to move across country. This year, I am decorating and relaxing and enjoying, so my hook has been working overtime. I love that little gnome. Good luck to all. Now, I'm going to have to make chili this weekend with beans, always with beans. Yes, because the last podcast, I made some chili with beans and there's a lot of people who like the beans in their chili i found that out so i'm glad that i'm not the only one so congratulations lori so you just need to send me an email and have your address on there and just let me know how you want your um ten dollars i can do um paypal or i can just throw 10 bucks down in the bag and i'll get this sent out in the mail to you so that was the final known bundle. We had a whole year of known bundle giveaways. We started in January and we have just rolled right through the year. It's been a lot of fun. I had so much fun like um, picking out gnomes and getting the yarn and stuff ready. It was a lot of fun. So I wanna thank everybody who participated in all of the gnome bundles. I am going to um, come up with something to do next year to show my appreciation to you guys. I just haven't come up with anything yet. So yeah, there's the trains have been working overtime tonight. It's crazy. Okay, so I've kept you guys long enough. I'm gonna have to get off here and call my nephew um, before he goes to bed and see what he's into. He is five. So yeah, okay guys, um, I will um, talk to you later. I wanna say um, thank you to everybody who is hanging out with me and coming back week after week just to see what I've been up to. I really, really, really appreciate it. I forgot to stop the recording on here. So there we go. I really appreciate it. You guys just do not even know what it means to me. I love reading all of your comments. It is my uh, favorite part. So keep those comments coming. Let me know down below um, what you guys are looking forward to this um, holiday season. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? <laughs> You guys are going to freak when I tell you what I had. I ate uh, some pepperonis. That was it. Wasn't really feeling very hungry. And I know those pepperonis are going to cause me some heartburn later on tonight. But I ate them anyways because I've been craving them. This week I'm going to make me a taco salad. Like the one that I made a couple weeks ago. That bad boy was so good. I cannot wait to have another one. So probably do that tomorrow. Okay, guys, I will let you go for real this time, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.